As DIA continues to grow, airport and city leaders are looking at cha at, to change how we can get there. And the airport is currently working on what it calls the Pena Boulevard Transportation and Mobility Master Plan Study. As our Rob Harris shows us, the study wants you to help envision the future. We just took the exit from I-70 onto Pena Boulevard, and this is what the road looks like in front of me. Heavy traffic has basically become the norm on the way to DIA. And that's the challenge that airport and community leaders are now facing. As DIA grows, so does the number of people who need to get there. We looked at what I call the universe of solutions and alternatives. A team at DIA has been working through hundreds of comments for its Pena study, and it wants even more input as it considers the future of the corridor. Nearly 129,000 cars on average drove Pena each day last year, and that number is expected to keep climbing as traffic through DIA increases. Lots of folks are concerned that the existing Pena Boulevard is not the right way um, per se for folks to move to and from. The Pena study is ongoing, but the team behind it has already ruled out one option. More lanes for single occupancy cars are not on the menu. Um, to reduce our carbon footprint, um, we need to look at ways to incentivize um, higher occupancy vehicles, whether that's carpooling, van pooling, um, as well as looking at other options. There are three other possible options the team's considering. One is to keep the lanes the same, but make improvements to the road and signage. Two is to create lanes for carpooling, van pooling, and public transportation. And three, create separate routes for airport traffic and local traffic. The team's inviting all of us to provide feedback and help them make their decision. We want to make sure that transit is being sufficiently considered as part of this, uh, as part of this project. Greater Denver Transit is one of the groups that's already been in touch with DIA for the study. Their message is that future trips to the airport need to have more options that are not cars stuck in Pena Boulevard traffic. It is possible that 10 years from now, it could be a lot easier for you to get to the airport. But part of that is making sure that we're building today. It has to be something that's seamless and convenient for people to consider transit. For Denver 7, I'm Rob Harris. We have all been stuck in that traffic. Well, there is an online open house that runs through September 7th. It's at flydenver.com slash Pena underscore plan. Or you can learn more at the Green Valley Ranch Farmers Market. There's a meeting next Wednesday and another one Wednesday the 30th.